Hey, Issy here. Uh, today I want to just help you decide if you want to buy um, this thing, which is the P170, I think, from Shaggy, or this is the Storm 2, which is the old transparent one. Anyway, these are those really cool transparent power banks that sort of were, well, for me, were everywhere on my social media, and I was really, really keen to buy one. However, I couldn't really find all the details that I wanted to, because it seemed like it was only like paid people, not paid people, but it was a new product and there was only sort of sponsored ads, I guess, that were people showing them off on YouTube. Anyway, that's not my point. I'm not that person, I had to buy these one, I think it was like $400 and the other one was about $280 off Kickstarter. So in this video, I just wanna give you all the angles and the comparisons in terms of size and the weight and the screen size and even just using it a little bit and just hopefully they will give you the, um, the answer that you're looking for. And if you've got any other questions, you're more than welcome just to ask me in the comments. Okay, let's check this out. So hopefully with this video, you can just see what you need to see. I know that there's lots of videos out there talking about the Storm 2 but I thought maybe this might be quite helpful for someone that's contemplating between the 170 and the Storm 2. They're both really, really good so far. I think the screen on the um, Storm 2 is definitely too small to just use it every day if you're just having to have a quick glance, but it does give you way more information, which is quite handy. I do like with the um, 170 though, how it sits on the desk being sort of like a triangle. It's a little bit easier just to glance over and look at the screen that way. Uh, in terms of size and functionality though, I would definitely say that that Mophie one in the middle is a lot easier just to move around with in your pocket because these two are definitely like desk bound or bag bound um, power banks. It doesn't mean that you can't take it around with you, it's just a little bit too big to have in your pocket. I mean, you can put it in your bag but like an extra 500 grams it's probably unrealistic unless you're traveling or you do a lot of like commuting. Maybe you catch a subway or you, you catch the bus and you know your phone runs out of battery then it might make sense but for me in a smaller town it's it was just sort of no point me carrying around with me every day. But when it comes to the thermals I think it's probably nothing too concerning in a cooler climate like in New Zealand. But maybe in like Asian countries or countries closer to the equator, that might be a bit more important to you. But the temperature was like 31 degrees and the ambient temperature in the room was I think 22.5 and humidity was 56. It's a pretty average summer day here in Christchurch, so nothing too crazy there. Now on the subject of weight, um, yeah, the new one is heavy. Not super heavy, but definitely heavier compared to that Mophie. And that's the reason I chose that Mophie to take overseas because I thought, and I can't be carrying a 600 gram power bank in my pocket around Paris. You might want to, you might have a bag, but I was sort of trying not to look like a tourist with cables hanging out my bag in my pocket for those people to come and steal it. <laughs> and now in regards to pass through charging, yeah, they both do it. I do like the 170 screen, it's a little bit bigger, which means it's a bit easier to see it just at a glance, how much has been put into the battery and how much is going out to the unit that you're using or the thing that you're charging. Um, and then this is a little bit of a close up shot for you if you want to see uh, what it says internally compared to what is coming through the USB-C port. Uh, there's not much of a variance and I don't know if it's really that important but for someone it might be so there you go. And then that's pretty much it. As you can see by the size of it, as I sit down and plug it in, it, this is an Eco Amazon and that's um, not too small. So this is quite a big unit so just be aware of that if you want to make an indiscreet unit for your desk or for your bag. And that's it. Um, I think in conclusion though, the units are amazing. The Storm 2 has been an awesome power bank for, me for the last six months. I'm sad I wasn't able to take it overseas with me when I went to France, but I was just a little bit cautious about taking it on the plane, even though it does say it's plane safe, like the other YouTubers. I think they sort of scared me into thinking that I might get it taken off me. I might try it now that I've got two, but I'm still a little bit cautious because of the cost. In terms of day-to-day -day usage though, I highly recommend. I got that shot close up of the battery capacity still after six months of using it pretty much every day at 100%. I mean, that's a good testament to a power bank, especially when it sort of claims these things, you'd never really know if it's actually quite true. Look, any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. See ya, bye.